What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be doing some work on a 2012 Toyota Tundra, replacing the brake pads and rotors in the front. I'm also going to be changing out um, the struts slash uh, shocks and also the calipers because they're leaking. So this is what I went with for the rotors. It's a kind of a performance premium rotor. Link will be down in the description below for this. And this is the box that came in. This uh, basically has the uh, drilled and slotted set up there. This is the inside of it where the hub is at. This is the outside. And then it came with the brake fluid, DOT3, and it came with some uh, brake cleaner as well. And here are the pads. So I went in for my recent oil change and they told me that my shocks are bad in the front driver's side, which it was, I could see it leaking right along the uh, kind of piston part there. And then my caliper is also leaking on the driver's side, but I'm gonna go ahead and change out both of them and both shocks. And then my rotors, you already saw that in the garage. So I'm gonna show you what I can outside before I have this work done. And definitely check out the links below if you wanna save a bunch of money. Um, the dealership charges almost twice the price um, for the parts that I found online. And then if you can do the work yourself, you can save on labor big time. All right, so here's my 2012 Tundra. I don't know, you can kind of see how rusted up and jacked up that caliper is. And then not too much wear on the rotor, but the pads are worn out. So that's why I'm getting all kinds of um, noises and it's kind of sticking. And also um, whenever you have abnormal wear, I mean, cause like shimming shimmying as if your wheels aren't balanced when you're driving on the road. So um, I'm gonna have this changed out and the caliper and the shock is kind of hard to see, but um, I did have some residue leaking on the inside wheel well from um, both the brake caliper and the uh, shocks. All right, so this vehicle has roughly 200,000 miles on it. I went and turned the wheels so you all can see it at a better angle. But you can see this uh, normal wear going on right there. Pads are worn out. And then here are the shocks. You can see the residue. The shocks where it's like dry right there. Right there, it's like wet. So here's the other side, passenger side, same thing, very rusted. And there is the rotor. All right, I'm on my way back home. Just got back from the auto shop. And I basically paid $300 per axle versus $1,200 per axle at the Toyota dealership. So um, basically everything checks out fine. I drove it on the interstate and now I'm just in this little city road here. I already broke the uh, brakes in and uh, basically made several stops from uh, about five stops from 30 miles per hour to five miles per hour. And I did a few stops from 50 miles an hour to uh, five miles an hour to try to get the brakes and the rotor seated in. But uh, everything feels nice and smooth. I'm driving it right now. No shimming around like I had earlier. The wheel's nice and straight. And uh, when I get home, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like on the outside, show you the new shocks and the rotor setup. We're approaching this traffic light right here. We're braking right now. It's nice and quiet and really sticky. I could actually stop earlier if I wanted to, like right here. But yeah, really, really nice setup. Again, link will be in the description below for the rotors and brake pads. All right, so just got home and this is what it looks like from the outside. You can see some of the shavings where I basically seated the brake in. You can see the different color there on the edge where the pad meets the rotor. And then it has the new calipers. Remember, this was very rusted up. And you can't really see the pad because it's behind that caliper, but everything runs good. And you can see the new shock inside here now versus the old shot. I'll show you the other side. Here's the other side. These are the rotors and the calipers. And the shock. Today's video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you all for watching.